Morning all. Okay, let's play uh, a 15 minute game this morning. So, what's the current uh, rating state? It's 2 1 7 3. Uh, so, that's sort of near peak rating yesterday. Um, how far is that away? Oh, 2176 actually is my peak rating. So, yes, that win uh, yesterday is getting close again to that peak rating set on the 6th of February. So, in fact, if I just win a game now, that might give me a chance to, to break this record again. Uh, okay, while we're waiting, title players. Let's have a look at some title players. Shredded. Uh, I think he's observing. Just make sure. Oh no, he's playing. Oh, there's a hat. So FM shredded. Okay, it's a piece down. But anything can happen. It's thirty seconds each. Oh, Rook and Preet. Uh, it's going to be a time. It's going to be a time victory. Oh, do you see? It? Oh, there. Oh, there. Uh, I think Shredder's being shredded here. Uh, D7 looks amazing. Uh, let's play a move there. The final position was D7, wasn't it? Mate. Uh, King's Gamut. It's always a good laugh. Uh go for knight f3. Okay, he's gonna disrupt my king. Um uh, centre. I enjoy this centre a lot. Um so Queen D two. I think Queen D two should be okay. Accepting f4 for a moment. Except g5. I don't know. Knight takes h4 if g5. Ah. Uh, ah, oh, there could be a problem here. Hold on. Bishop f3 takes and then g5. Doesn't that kind of win? Uh, unfortunately. Just push my three and g5 because what about f3? Ah oh dear, what a way to lose in the morning. Um, I can't spot what to do off the g5. Ah, uh, one of these two pawns. Okay, at least two pawns. It's bishop g3, best bet. Queen f3, king g1. There's another pawn. Uh, that's a shame. Maybe keeping the queens on or something. Bishop e3, queen f3, uh, king g1. Probably that's the best part. Queen g2, just queen g4. Oh dear, it's not good. I think I want to keep the queens on, so uh, probably bishop e3. This is not very pleasant. King's game at disaster. Let's get knight c3 and start developing pieces after. Bit of a distant dream now, at the moment. Um, queen e4, knight c3 though, get the pieces out. Queen g4, king f1. Oh, right side I've got the knight square bishop. <laughs> I've got f, the f file with knight c3 and rook f1. Can he just take a perpetual? Will he just take a perpetual here? In fact, Queen G4, I don't know, Queen G2. How many pawns down? Quite a lot, probably. Right, if I play Knight C3 here, G3, there's Rook F1, so he's not taking that pawn. So I think Knight C3, G3. Okay, Knight C3. If I 
I can recover with rook f1, I'll be on f7. I'm not sure g4 was the best move going. Uh, could backfire. It's always taking with the rook or something, so rook f1 is, is threats, the threat now. Which is difficult to do something about actually. How comes after one move? It looks a lot different to before. <laughs> you could have just, uh, well, that's a bit lucky, I think. So all I am now is a pawn down, but I've got this F file. Hmm. In fact, I'm threatening to trap the queen with rook f1. Uh, so say g3, okay, that does give the queen an escape square. Uh, rook f1, queen g4. Okay. Play it anyway. Not getting mated just yet. So if, bishop, if queen h5, bishop f7. Queen G four, maybe H three, and then King G two, just to keep this pawn as a sort of defender. And then Bishop F seven looks pretty dangerous. I thought from the position it was all over. Seemed to uh, be doing okay. Strategic backfire hasn't really developed any pieces. So probably uh, Bishop of Seven Mile got a chance, then H3. Just disrupt the King. With King E7, there's Knight D5. Alright, so here, what about just H3? Just use this pawn as protection so I can play g3, king g2 next. Maybe even bishop g5 if he's not careful. Uh, so king g2 next. Also, rook f5 spins the mind. There's no there. But king g2 looks pretty cozy. But pawn is the sort of defence. I think King G two uh time to King G two. So I'm back in the game, I think. So Rook, on the rook f5, 97. Rook h5, threatening the bishop. No, I'll lose this bishop. I'll do something about this bishop. Actually, this bishop h6. Doesn't bishop h6 kind of win the queen? It's a bit of an important forcing move here. As far as forcing moves go. I know they're pretty destructive from recent over the board uh, draw, Queen G3, but Bishop H6 is a forcing move. Seems quite destructive, not really um, strategic, but it does seem to win the Queen. So the Queen's just been run out of squares. I missed winning the Queen yesterday, so I think I'm making up for it if this wins the Queen. There was a rook a3 yesterday from the rest of those games. Um, where does the queen go? Interesting. So that was the weakness of the last move as well. Knight, G, knight e7. Uh, it's not guarding h6, just picking on the weakness of the last move. Gate open. 1 0, as in binary, got logic gates, computers, gates. Gate open, closed. Knight e7. Open the gate for Bishop H6.
Interesting. And it's resigned two one seven six. So I think I'm 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 on my um reaching my peak rating at this rate. Two one seven six. Eleventh of February, yes, got it with this game. This King's Gambit game. <laughs> very early in the morning, which I thought I was just gonna lose very quickly. Uh all of a sudden he blundered with um I don't know. He didn't if he'd taken on E four, different story. Uh there's always Queen G four checks, but he kind of ruled that all out with G four. <laughs> so what a disaster. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks so much.